Oh, they allowed that first goal. They've looked hungry ever since. They've been buzzing. They've gotten a few opportunities. Shot 6-5 to five in the Crimson's favor right now. Kalorn tries to win it forward again. Gets it as far as the corner. Loses an edge and then takes Young down. Kalorn gets back to the puck. Has it in front. Kalorn moving in. Scores! Backhander Kalorn. We're even at one. Oh, wow. What a great effort by Alex Kalorn. He won the faceoff forward into the corner got hauled down but he managed to get back up get the puck back fight through a bunch of players move to his backhand and put it between the legs of Marisic to make a nice deep one in front pad save rebound still loose and Kalorn couldn't put it home Kalorn still with a turnaround shot save Marisic rebound loose rubber on attempt they score Alex Falstrom with the goal Harvard takes a one goal lead early in the second period and just 35 seconds in, Harvard winning the draw and going in hard early, getting a couple of great chances. Great job on the forecheck and the cycle for the Crimson to keep that one going. Hard work around the boards by Alex Kalorn to set up the first shot attempt and then to get that rebound again, take another chance, and then Falstrom down low after, uh, after that shot from Kalorn. Oh, Regan got there. They waved it off. They said O'Regan was closer than Jess Goviak. He throws it in front for Valak. Scores! Harvard with a goal at the 10-minute mark. David Valak will take it with a 3-1 lead. Either way, he managed to get there, then win the battle in, uh, in the corner because Yale had stopped. And, you know, there was an NHL play a couple, uh, last week that was similar to this where they thought it was an icing, but... And uh, the comment... Just enough to avoid that fate. Grimshaw, long pass, finds Kalorn. Kalorn's got a step. He's got Everson with him. Kalorn walking in, holds, backhand, scores! Goal number 50 for Kalorn makes it 4-1. to one. Oh, and what a beautiful move by Kalorn yet again. He dragged it, looked past, then went to his backhand and put it 5-hole again. And it's 4-1. to one. Comes up for Everson, he plays it through his legs for Falstrom, drop pass now, Kalorn, Kalorn moving in, shot, save, rebound, they score! Marshall Everson makes it 5-1 here in the second. And what a pretty play there as Falstrom had it coming up the left wing, dropped it to Kalorn who dragged around a couple, took the low shot, so it bounced off the pad and Everson who was trailing found the rebound and put it home. And this top line has combined for four of Harvard's five goals and Alice Kalorn having the night of his life right now with yet another assist. Tried to take over the game last night as well. Face off one by Harvard. A shot deflects wide of Malcolm's head. Rebound off the end boards. Valak scores! He put it off of Malcolm's posterior and in. And Harvard with the touchdown. It's 6-1 Crimson. And David Valak, his third two-goal game this season third two goal game in six or in five games and he had never done that prior to that point ever and so now his eighth goal of the season gives Harvard a well settle things down for McNally his pass gets blocked puck comes up the wall Ziegler will pinch down low misses Moriarty plays it up for Everson Everson across for Biega. Biega moves in right wing side. A drive save. Malcolm rebound loose. And Moriarty pokes it home. Goal Harvard. It's 7-2. to And Malcolm upset with himself that he didn't hold on as he made the initial save on the blast by Biega, but it bounced out in front and Moriarty driving the net just poked at it and it went in. Yeah, Moriarty just got a poke at it. And it was just loose, sitting in front. Moriarty really didn't even have to do much with it. Malcolm thought he had it trapped on the blocker. And it looks like they're putting in... Their he plays a pass to Moore. Harvard trying to feed the senior. He dishes for Moriarty. Back to Valak. Shot scores! Patrick Valak, 8-2 Crimson with 19 seconds left. And David Valak with his first career hat trick. And a big one for him I would assume and it's on the power play yet again so that's right and Harvard two for
you know, makes makes uh, some of the uh, issues we had with ties, uh, you know, feel a little better. I think, uh, you know, this is a this is a great group of guys. Been a lot of fun uh, to work with. Really have uh, stayed together, and uh, you know, I think uh, we belong in Atlantic City, and uh, we're excited, and uh, we're not just happy to be there. We, we we feel like we can make a run at the at the league uh, championship, and we're excited about going to uh, to Atlantic City. The first game we we didn't play that great. Coach kind of challenged us, and um, I think since since that first game or at the end of the first game, uh, we really stepped up in the second game. And uh, today the energy was great. It seemed you know just one of those games where uh, everything was kind of going our way, and the puck just uh, found its way into the back of the net. I mean, it, it really is uh, our last chance. And guys were saying you know tonight was was the last chance for our seniors to play. Uh, at the Harvard rink at the Bright Center. So it was definitely something special. And like you said, we, we just want to keep rolling here.